What's up YouTube, John Wheels, and today I'm going to be showing you the difference and benefits of a torque converter and a centrifugal clutch on a go-kart or mini bike. I'm going to show you how a torque converter works. So this is what's going to be your typical Comet 30 series torque converter. Now to give you an idea, the crankshaft of the engine is through here and behind here is the sprocket and that goes down to your bigger sprocket that will turn your axle or wheel. Now this is just a standard Predator 212 engine. There's this belt so whenever the engine is spinning this belt is not engaged but whenever enough RPM is applied, right here will kick out, pinch this belt, and this belt will then drive this pulley right here, which will go to your wheels. In there is a little brass bushing, so that'll let it idle. Now I'm gonna start her up and show you what it looks like whenever this is engaged, and I'll get a few different angles. just saw the torque converter working so as you saw here kicked out and it actually changed the size of the pulley so down low it has this torque from small to big but whenever it got more rpm this belt actually came out and became bigger and this became smaller applying less torque but more speed now you saw that it spun on its own but that was only because it's not hooked anything if this were hooked to your rear wheel or your axle or something like that it wouldn't um, go anywhere uh, it's just the force of this is not going to ride perfectly so it is going to spin it a little bit but I hope that gave you a better understanding of how a torque converter works alright now I'm going to show you the difference between a centrifugal clutch now there are little springs in there you can probably see them Whenever the RPM becomes enough, there's little weights and they'll fly out and lock to the case. So the back side is being driven by the engine and the front side will sit still when you're at idle. And whenever the weights become enough, these two lock together and become one. But there is a lot of slipping that occurs whenever this happens. So it's not going to be as efficient and there's no gains as in gearing ratio. In a torque converter, your belt size changes to provide more top speed and torque at the low end and stuff like that. This is just straight. Now these are going to be a lot cheaper. This will be about 15 to 20 dollars for a centrifugal clutch and a torque converter is going to cost about 70 at the cheapest to 120 and that's for the 30 series. The 40 series is 350 ish dollars so that's really going to be a lot of money i hope that explained the difference between um a centrifugal clutch and a torque converter thanks for watching this is john wheels remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment below to tell me what you thought or if you have any questions